hello beautiful people hello everybody how are you all doing thank you very much for your love and support thank you very much for supporting me in this channel i really do appreciate if today is the first time you are coming across this channel you are seeing my face for the first time i'm a data progress channel here on youtube and i bring it to you back to back in this channel we react to all videos and this channel as well our opinion is highly needed so why don't you just carry your share carry your popcorn and let's deliberate on this issue once and for all yes so yesterday we know what happened all over the internet everywhere is just warming up and there is fire on the mountain ask me where the fire is because it has been the national item that whenever anything occurs or anything happened in the southeastern part of nigeria they quickly they will just come out and just said it's ipob that is responsible and yesterday something really happened to one of the one called joe ibeko and you know that <laughs> it should it should not be excluded definitely he must come back and said it's ipop of which is not a new even before it came out they've already said it and when he came out, he said, according to what he tweeted, he said, his house was invaded by IPOP. He said he saw them through his uh, CCTV that they, they came with Sienna car. And when they drove in, they offloaded a gallon of fuel and set the house abreast. That is IPOP that is responsible. That IPOP, they are the unknown government. I believe that he worked in Lagos. So the one that happens in Ogu State, is it the same IPOP that are responsible for that? That is the question that we are asking him to answer. Is it the IPOP that are responsible for the ones that happened in, in, in where he is or where he's working or where he's a personal aide to uh, Showoru, that is uh, the, the governor of Lagos State? Is it also the same IPOP that are responsible? The one that happened in the northern part of Nigeria, is it IPOP that are responsible? They don't really do a lot of investigation. They just come out and just say that it's IPOP. They will just bring some boys that are hungry or some people that are hungry that need food. They will just say, oh, it is IPOP. This boy confessed that it is a security network. Do you know that if they calculate the, the numbers of people that the Nigerian government has carried that and said, these are Eastern Security Network members, they are more than thousand. And after the person come out, all they parade them, before you see, they will not hear of it anymore. They will not even hear of the person. They will not even say anything about it anymore. The thing will just die just like that. What are we saying? We are also saying the same thing. They should try and make thorough investigation before coming out to accuse the innocent people. They don't really have that time to say. They don't really have the time to carry out their work. They will just say, it's IPOP. What is all this? The other day we hear from the Ebony State Governor where he said even the Funani Hensmen that they single-handedly hand over to, to Nigerian police. He said the next day when they got to that place, they discovered that those guys have been bailed. These are evidence that you will see a lot of oppression in what is going on. This is just oppression. The way I will put it, because why I said this oppression is this. How will you say that the IPOP, they are not good, they are terrorists, they are this, they are that. But when it's time for anyone that is from the northern part of Nigeria, then their police, their army or whatsoever, we just give them pay. We just pay them without no money. In fact, they even protect them more than the way they protect the citizen. The cow you are seeing, the cow have a, a high rank of citizenship more than the members of the country and if you look at one thing that is baffling us you will know that all these things that is going on all these killings the burning of houses everything that is going on you will agree with me that the sat is governors they are not really interested in it whenever they are making any statement or any press releasing any press statement about what has happened about the killings about this about that the first thing that they, they will just do is shift in that particular election as if they are doing campaign how will you say that the life of somebody matters to you how will you say that you are mourning someone how will you say that things are not working well the way it should be but whenever you are trying to say something about this you put in your selfish act on it you put in what will benefit you in the front run at the end of the day you will hear they say yes let there be election 
Can you imagine this? And some of them are just saying that if certain uh, South Eastern part of Nigeria did not produce a uh, presidential candidate or did not produce president in Nigeria, they will join the IPOP. You all are deceivers. You all are deceiving yourself. You heard what their leader said, Erofai. Erofai said that there is nobody in the northern part of Nigeria that will take second position in Nigeria. That the northerners should not accept. They should not agree anything second. He said, why? Because they have the majority. He said, so you that is in south eastern part of Nigeria that said, if they did not give presidency to south part of Nigeria, that there will be this, they will say they are waiting. And guess what? Your people came out and said, if they did not give South Eastern part of Nigeria anything like presidency, they are going to join IPOP. Then if you really know your right, what are you waiting for? For somebody to push you before you will go to your right. So, Joey Bekwe cried that now and said, it's IPOP. When you said it's IPOP, then they will hold Mazina, they can't be responsible. They will find more, um, more case on him. They will make him not to come, come out, or they will make him not to come to court. Is that your, is that your plan? You can see the game here. Because the time for the leader of Biafra, Mazina, the Kanu, will soon be in court. That is October 21st, 2021. This, all these games they are doing, killing themselves, burning houses, doing a lot of things, is an evidence that they want to pile up these things. Like, it's because of this thing that happened. That is why the leader of Biafra is unable to come to court. Mark this word I'm telling you, and mark today's date. This thing Ibekwe brought out and said they burn his house, his IPOP, these are things that they are piling up so that they will present them and said yes it's Mazina the Kanu's followers that are doing this that are doing that so for that they are joined the court date or it can't meet up or it cannot come to court they are still seeing some of the issues because you know their language they will tell you that dss has not uh, 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 planned their own side or dss have not uh, filed their own petition against him or dss are not yet ready what a bombshell <laughs> That is so bad. That is so wrong. This is what they are aiming at. I am telling you. Remember when they when they are when they kidnapped the leader of the Afro Mazina the Kalu, the first person that came out to dance is Joe Ibekwe. He came out and he danced. He said, Hey, these people that said that this and that, now they are caught. Let them come out, let them do this, let them do that. So he have already seen that the music is changing, that they don't really have the power or the capability. To hold band, the leader of Biafra, is and Mazina the Kalu, and what will happen? All of them started bringing their, their, their evil acts on what they can do for this thing not to work out or what they can do for him to be held captive. That is all fake and it's absolutely zero percent. We disagree with them. Honestly, we disagree. So we know that Joe Ibekwe is even responsible for burning his own house. You, you, you can't trust these people. I am telling you, you can't trust these people. He want to come at uh, the top line. You remember, Joe Ibeko is already angry with Muhammad Buhari about uh, Femi Kayode. He want to be recognized. Joe Ibeko can do this thing. I am telling you, he is the one that set this as a blaze by himself. He is the one that cooked the plan. He drew the plan very well because he want to be noticed. He needs something that will make him to draw to presidency. He needs something that will make him to draw close to Muhammad Buhari. That is what he's just doing. I am telling you, they are using the lives of people to play casual. The federal government of Nigeria know that there is no way he can enslave uh, the Biafrans unless he uses their own people against them. And that is the game. Can't you see? Don't you understand? This is the game. They are using their own people against them. I will use their own people against them so that there will be confusion. But believe me, when you stand and you know what you are looking for, I believe that everything will go, is going to be fine and it will be fine. But meanwhile, Joe Ibeko should understand that IPOP are not responsible for burning down his house. Of which we already know that that is the later, that is what he will come out for with. But before he plans even, People are already there to witness it. So my wonderful family, that brings us to the end of this wonderful update. Please just do where to drop your own opinion in the comment section. Let me see 
what we can do from there because we know that they have the planning but they will definitely fail all right my other family thank you very much for your love and support towards this channel i really do appreciate i still remain your one and only agatha progress here on youtube any day anytime please if you know you haven't subscribed what are you then waiting for click on that red subscribe button that says subscribe and turn on the bell icon for more latest updates see you when i see you for now bye